Just a single drop of this clear liquid could change your life forever. Not immediately, but so inevitably that doctors can only watch as your brain slowly disintegrates. This is the horrifying reality of dimethylmercury. Welcome to a series that I'm calling Scientifically Interesting Ways to Die. In 1996, Karen Wetterhorn, a chemistry professor specializing in toxic metals, was working with dimethylmercury when a drop smaller than a raindrop landed on her latex gloved hand. She followed all the safety protocols of the time, cleaning up the spill carefully, removing her gloves and protective clothing before re-gloving and continuing work. But what no one knew at the time was that the usual safety afforded by latex gloves didn't apply to dimethylmercury. Within seconds of the drop landing, due to its small size and non-polar nature, the compound had already begun to pass through her glove like it wasn't even there, entering her blood supply and circulating to her brain. For months she showed no symptoms, but her fate was already sealed. Once inside the body, dimethylmercury decomposes, releasing mercury ions that bind aggressively to sulfur atoms, which are in particularly high abundance within the neurons of the brain and central nervous system. Robbed of the sulfur that they need, those neurons neurons begin to malfunction and die. It took five months after the incident for the first symptoms to slowly begin to arise. Slight difficulty with balance, a misstep or slurred or lost word. Rushed in for tests, a toxicology report revealed her blood mercury levels were 4,000 times above the normal, high enough to literally fix brain tissue like a laboratory preservative. Aggressive chelation was immediately started in an attempt to remove the mercury, but the damage was already done. Within weeks, Wetahan had lost the ability to walk, speak, hear, and see. After months in the hospital, as her husband was sitting by her side, he observed a single tear rolled down her cheek. But doctors said this was likely reflex, not recognition. By then, her cortex was almost entirely unresponsive, trapped in her body as her mind slowly dissolved, dismantled piece by piece by a single drop of the very element she studied. Almost exactly 10 months after her initial exposure, she slipped into a coma and was removed from life support. Her devastating fate triggered sweeping changes in lab safety protocols, where to hand story standing as an important reminder that breaking new barriers isn't always a good thing. If you like science but will never look at gloves the same way, follow for more.